Friends, hello again. Today I'm going to talk about a flaw in uh, the estimation of uh, uh, risk factors in cardiology um, and a mistake that is well known, even by psychologists. Uh, psychologists call it the base rate fallacy. In probability, we call it the difference between conditional and unconditional probability. The, the way they compute risk factors in cardiology is they bundle together two categories of people with different characteristics. If you have an, a high LPA, you have much higher cardiac risks at all levels of LDL or ApoB. So if you have a normal LPA, you necessarily will have a, a lower cardiac risk than the average. Now, high LPA, there's a high number of people in that category. Um, I don't know, somewhere between 15 and 28%, say 15 and 25%. It doesn't matter. It's still considerable. And these people have between 1.6 and 2.5 times the risk factor. In other words, the odds of uh, getting... Uh, uh, CVD, uh, the, the, the probability of having a heart attack. So when they derive the risk factors and recommendation, hey, you need to lower your LDL, they bundle these together. So the risk factor unconditional should be the risk factor conditional on being the category of high LPA, I'm simplifying, you know, as a probability person, I would make it a little more complicated because by, by integrating, but anyway. So risk factor conditional on having LPA times probability of having being in a category of high LPA plus risk factor conditional on a normal LPA times the probability of having normal LPA, which was one, one minus the other. So if I adjust that, I can get up to 30% lower risk from for a, for a certain uh, uh, LDL or ApoB. So in other words, we are gerrymandering by giving statins to people who don't need such a treatment and these have deferred side effects, as we all know, and, and we'll know more about the side effects of statins. There's a paper, uh, a confidential paper that was sent to me recently, and it will be public soon. So we're gerrymandering, I mean, just to sell people uh, pills. So if you have a normal LPA, you're in a different category. Remember that. Thank you very much, and have a great day.